To be a woman of distinction for me is amazing. Um, it is a humbling experience, um, but it means a lot to me because it lets me know that my job is to help others become women who are distinguished, different, and growing. And so for me, someone, in, they embedded their work in me, I'm gonna do the same for the next lady. A lot of people invested in my life, worked with me on my weaknesses and strengths over time. And I've had about 12 jobs at the college. St. Petersburg College is basically the only place I've worked. It's highly unusual for an internal candidate to gain the presidency of their college. So that was, you know, really cool all in itself. And being the first female and African American was a special treat. Obviously, being the college president um, is a huge um, accomplishment. But I would say my first job here was probably the biggest accomplishment because it was the beginning of me being at SPC, of growing and learning and becoming the person that I am. I feel that I'm not doing my job if I'm not giving back to the community and being a part of the solution that helps people change their lives. I was born in poverty. I was raised by a single mom. We had to work hard and we struggled, but I try to let them know it's not where you start, it's where you finish. And so you may have a tough start, but you can get yourself out of that if you want to listen, learn, change, work, and move forward. Don't look at your current circumstance. What is your goal? Let's work on how to get you there. What are the things you need to learn? What are the experiences you need to have so that you can make your dreams come true? I grew up in an all African American community. And um, in, in our home, we were very loud talkers and we're just very spirited individuals. And I ended up going to a, a Christian college, very mild and meek and quiet. And here I come, rah. And so for me, I had to step out of my comfort zone and learn, okay, this is a different environment. How do I bring my A game and still be effective and be myself? And so I had to learn to tone it down a little bit, listen. I've always been myself. People who know me will say, man, you haven't changed. You're still Tanja, you know, from South St. Pete. Um, but there are parts of me that had to change to grow. And to grow, you have to be uncomfortable. For today's girls and the next generation of women, I would say there's absolutely nothing you cannot accomplish. There's nothing you cannot do. Don't listen to that little voice in the back of your head that says, no, you don't have this, you don't have that, go get it. 